Good afternoon again to all with a new fresh topic, data input export, data splitting with error handlings. So this is a topic which is normally required by chartered accountants, consultants. They want to import or export data from one data to another data, one company to another company. Also, they want to split data. So this is the session about how to handle this type of requirement and how we can manage errors if errors occurred. Okay, so without wasting time, we are directly moving on topic. So you can see here a data, uh, a blank data and a complete data. Both data is required. So just I'm selecting here another company. F3 and select company. So it is, we can take as company one. Now the first topic we're conducting about importing data. First, why need of data importing? Just consider one uh, scenario, an article or a person who is facing audit for, on behalf of chartered accountant and uh, on behalf of client. Both are doing a same job that they are copying data from client's machine to their own machine, own piece. Now, scenario is, suppose this is the company and that company have data on 31st March 22 as a last voucher. You can see here. If I'm taking the data copy paste to my PC, what happens? client is going to enter each and every next vouchers means 1st April 22 to nowadays. So these vouchers will be entered in that current data, which is actually copied by that particular article or stuff. Now the situation is, suppose that profit and loss account on a particular day, suppose 31st March 22 is a Suppose this is a loss 1,71,000 and data is copied to CS office and they are doing some entries, depreciation, interest on capital. Uh, they are doing some corrections, roundup entries. And finally, they got correct data. But till that date, suppose audit is completed in 31st July and data is copied in June. What happens? After June, all transactions are still entered in that data which should not be there. Client has to replace that data. And problem is 1st April 22, 31st March or 31st July 22, all data will be entered in this data again. So you have to merge both data or you have to split first company. So uh, we are taking one by one scenario. First topic is how to handle import export data. Okay, so it is very simple. Actually, it is very simple because of tally prime is there or you can say tally have a power of simplicity. That simplicity is not even I'm seeing it in the other softwares. Okay, you can see company one is there and literally in that company you can see <clears throat> normal groups of accounts are there. Then by default two ledgers, we can see cash, and profit and loss account. There are only two ledgers, which are by default created by Tally. Else, these are only groups, okay, 28 groups. So if you want to import data of this company, see, I want to import trial balance on 31st March 22 with respect to closing balances of ledgers, stock items, and all these things, which is uh, just assume it is corrected about it. The auditor finished his audit and give this data to me. I want to export and I want to import trial balance in new company. Okay. So how to export first, select the proper company in, in export. There are two options, masters and transactions. First export master, configure. Why configure? 
by default there is option to export type of master ledger and i want to export all masters there are two ways there are two ways one is first export masters then export transactions if you required else you can export transactions with depending masters for example i want to export first april to 30 june transactions to another company it is not required to first import masters then import transactions okay so i can show you both way first is simple way that is export masters configure i have to select here proper master which is only required many times customers wants only stock item to carry forward to next company customer wants only financial data to carry forward so here i can select anything so for timing i am selecting all masters you can select here all masters then you have to select here include dependent masters because suppose a master for example stock group is again under another stock group same way categories cost centers groups everything are depending on another masters so just consider just enable here as yes, for include dependent master then if you want closing balances to export with masters then you have to set here yes otherwise set here no so temporary i am not considering closing balances okay so here format is xml always location d drive and master name you can change your master name so you can say here em.xml no problem okay and escape send you have to press here send what happens as data is exported in d drive folder is opened with a file name em it is without with without opening balance if you want to export with opening balance that is very simple again you are not wasting more time here all masters dependent masters opening balance yes and you can see it here closing balance which dates closing balance you want as a opening balance for next financial year that is by default 31st march select xml local drive i can select here yum with closing balance dot xml is not required but you can put here next send so here you can see the file is ready now you can see a uh, without opening balance and with opening balance is required by various clients that see without opening balance it is 6665583 and it is 67073 something data is there okay. now select proper company where you want to import the data okay now here menu is import and first don't directly import transactions first go inside of configuration configuration here you can press show more so from where to consider uh, that xml files then ignore error during import that should be always yes please keep this option yes override vouchers when vouchers with same guid exist that is very important what happens branch and head office is connected many times accountants doing mistakes they are copy pasting data vouchers to vouchers directly so suppose they want backup of branch they are not going to sync 
they directly copy their branch data and put to your office for audit. So in that case, what happens? If vouchers are copy pasted with same GUID and again it is imported. So Tally is asking, so what to do if same voucher, same ID is received? So you can press here yes or no, whatever your requirement. Import batch size is always 100. Suppose data is having 10,000, 15,000 or 1 lakh transactions or 1 lakh masters. So it will be uh, uh, going to consume your RAM. So better way that is 100 is correct. Uh, that is by default given by Delhi. And you can also change that your uh, PC is correct, 8 GB or 16 GB RAM. Then you can put here 500 or whatever. Okay. Enable detailed log that is tally.imp5. So please ensure here that should be yes. That is not required for data importing. It is required for just analyzing, cross-checking which master is imported, which master is failed to import. So please maintain here yes. That is enough. Then moving on, import masters and just you have to select your path. So I can give your path as D drive. And from D drive, either I can copy paste here as a specific path or in prime, you know how to select a path. Okay, so on D drive, so path is changed. On D drive, my file is, I think, yum with closing balance here. Yum with closing balance excellence. Enter. Now, when you are importing data as a master, Tally will ask you three options. One is combined opening balance. What is combined opening balance? Suppose I have branch with ledger cash in hand, or we can say with bank, State Bank of India. Another, I have another branch with same bank name. If you select this option, what happens? Both masters closing balance will be merged. Suppose first company have 100 rupees balance, second company have 200 rupees balance. Combined opening balance will do 100 plus 200, it is 300. So that is very beautiful feature by Tally. Then ignore duplicate. Suppose master is already there, then it should not be again imported. And modify with new data. What happens if your master is available and you are again importing it? Then Tally will consider that old has to altered. That is called as modify. Okay. So here. I can say ignore duplicate because of data is already fresh. Enter. So data is imported. Now, how to check both companies at a time? So you can place here D, yes, yes, display statement of account statistic. Okay. And you can also select here new column. See, right side new column. Select another company and Yes. Now directly you can compare your so transactions we are not going to import. We have imported masters. You can see here. 119 masters imported for ledger group. Then ledger. See, cost center is not imported. So anybody is there uh, who is actually data importing and he can answer, then please chat in your chat box. So why cost centers are not imported? So we'll be back to that point if you are chatting there. So just I'm giving two or three minutes. Then other masters are also imported. That is the simple master importing. Now, let's assume chartered accountants wants to remove these opening balances. Masters are there, but I want to remove all opening balances at a time. So there is an option. So you can move on chart of account ledger okay this scenario is required when you are taking a wrong data in your database and you want to replace final trial balance to that wrong data opening balances for example i have a database 
31st March 21. That is final with my office. And I want to export this as an opening balance for 1st April 21. So I have to first remove my all opening balances. Then I have to replace my trial balance in the database, tally company, and then my 22 audit will be finished. Okay. So here in multi masters, multi alter, you can select, you can select all item or you can select a ledger or you can select anything, any group. So tally will show you ledger name, group name, opening balances, see the opening balances are imported. If you want to zero these opening balances, just right side check button is there. In uh, tally prime, it was alter Z. And now here you can uh, tell ERP9 was alter Z and here you can press click. Alter B. See opening balances are completely removed within a click. Now just press control A. That is finished. I've seen many times uh, CAs or CA staffs are manually doing this task. So instead of that, this is a better way to remove all trial balance opening balances and fresh import closing balance to import opening balance. That is very nice. Okay. If I think to become in deep in that case, I can share here one trick also. Even it is a problem of client. Client altering a transaction or a ledger. Suppose Rajendra Mithar is the name when data is given to chartered accountant and what happens he wants to remove rajendra mitari and he wants to say rajendra mitari and company so tally will consider rajendra mitari as a new ledger and two ledgers will be in your database so always keep in mind remove opening balances if you are have the data and replace it next now, how to see which transactions or which masters if I'm importing and there are some errors. So just press right click on tele icon. Go in properties. Okay. Open file location. And here. So I'm arranging my folders directly uh, by date modified. So one file is there that is called as IMP file. IMP long form is import. So you can say when data import export is happened in Delhi, Delhi is going to write a file that is log file. So you can open here in notebook and you can see what happens. See, currency is ignored. See here, because I am telling ignore duplicate. Okay, so diet expenses group already there. So it is ignored. So tally is just telling me what is ignored, what is altered, what is created. See here, created. It is very nice log by tally. Okay, and that log was not there in uh, ERP, just errors are there. And now you can see all log in detail. I think till here, uh, no questions. Okay, we will take questions. That is the channel. Yeah, yes. Uh, okay. Questions, put questions. Okay. Question answer we will take uh, later. Okay, because there is only one question. So please put. Can I import only accounting entries? Yes, why not? I can take in, uh, this also. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Just go inside your company. See here, transactions. Uh, till now, I we are not importing any transactions. We are imported only masters. Okay. So go to the transaction data. Uh, now my company is uh, closing on thirty first March twenty two, and the next company I have created here, that is from first April twenty two. So first I'm sharing here one mistake, which is commonly done by accountants. What accountants are doing? And that is facing by repeatedly a specific companies, these accountants. And also I'm 
just solving these types of problems many times. Accountants doing here first April twenty one. See what happens. Tell is having something there. Data is there, and you are telling Tally that your field is going to change. So that is very risky. So don't update here any date. Once it is started, suppose I want to split that data. I see many users going here and alter. And suppose I want to split this company. So they are doing here first April twenty three, twenty two. That is very wrong. That is wrong practice. Okay. So moving on to how to import transactions. So suppose I want to import transactions, then I have to create here something on first April twenty two. Just wait. I'm creating one transaction here on the date. Uh, let's take first first April twenty two. Cash. And anything I am just putting here as a uh, sample, thousand five hundred, and accept. Okay, yeah, automatic numbering. So this is also important point that is by default tally is showing here. My numbering is manual automatic override, and one number voucher is already there. Data is not splitted. I am using same data for three years. What happens? These queries also asked by users many times. so once you have data with multiple years financial years please keep numbering for each year by suffix or prefix like a1 or you can say a uh, 22 23 oblique one like that so that is suggested to all uh, users and how to maintain this so that is actually not our current scenario but just i am putting here in short you have to see here automatic manual override is there and if you want to configure at once just go inside and put here from 1st april 22 i want one but on 1st april 22 i want something there like this so tally will automatically create numbering methods and Again, it is not show, not showing any error. See, so please, uh, please note these types of uh, issues in occur. Okay, so I want to export transaction. You can export from Daybook. That is the first way, or you can move to statistic report, and you can select your desired desired transaction, and you can export that also. No problem. Okay, so I am moving from day book. You can give here here from first April twenty two thirty first March twenty three. Select export. Okay, there are many questions also asked by some students. They want to export selected vouchers only. That is not possible now in time. Okay, it will consider in uh, next any versions. so i want to export then current okay that is the current report exporting and you can also do export and transactions then here select configuration and here is your answer so home service is asked you want to export only accounting entries okay see here accounting entries Then include dependent master. See, I have to yes select areas twenty two to twenty first April twenty two to thirty April twenty two. No problem. XML and on D drive it is transaction dot XML. No problem. Export. So there is a file transaction dot XML already available. So it is replaced. I can select my new company. import transactions again please check every time you have to check that ignore error during data import is yes or not please check this always okay so in d drive just wait it is taking some time okay and i think uh, 
One another question is there. Boat transaction D drive transaction.xml. Finish. See here. Company one is now having 5th April 22. Okay. I want to share one trick also here. Suppose I want to just copy one transaction to another company. I am in company. This is my old company. Okay. I am in ledger. Yeah, that three dot is ledger. Okay. And first April. Suppose I am just duplicating here for saving our time on 6th April 2500. Okay. Now the data having two transactions. One is imported in my new company and it is not imported. Okay. So I can just open here. And if I have guarantee that master is there available, already available. I want to just copy a single entry to my uh, fresh new data. So right side is the button available, F3. Now I'm in company. See, Sat Satvik Food Private Limited. I'm just changing the company when the voucher is opened. Changing the company to company one. Just press Control E. Now you can see here in company, you can see 6th April is a transaction. That is again, most interesting feature by Danny. You can move a company or a master also from one company to another company directly by pressing F3. Okay. So tally IMP file is important. This is the main um, portion of data importing exporting. In import, you have to select here, ignore duplicate, sorry, ignore error while data importing. That is always yes. And please keep detailed log yes. Okay, detailed log should be yes. So that will be helpful for you. So moving to the next, which is, uh, okay, data import exporting related errors and many things are given by Tally on Tally help uh, site, help.tallysolution.com. One thing uh, always asked by manufacturers that purchase order, sales order, pending orders, and uh, cost center or closing balances, importing or not to the next year, carry forwarding or not. So as per system given by Terry, the entry or the ledger affecting transaction affecting only to the finance by any way, payment, receipt, sale, purchase, these types of transactions, closing balances, that ledger's closing balances will move to next year, carry forward. But sale order, purchase order is not considered as a transaction. These are events. So it is not uh, required to carry forward and you can directly put a fresh order in next year. Okay. So just I'm taking some few queries uh, which is not asked here, but I want to just share on uh, some focus on these types of queries. So one query asked always, suppose in an item master or lecture master, something mistake is done, something mistake is done and data is imported to the next year. So we want to import data to the next year with some corrections. For example, last one month, a chartered accountants asking me that wrongly currency is wrongly currency is selected as a dollar for indian company else what to do and transactions are done we don't know that old previous data we want to repair it but it is not possible there are many fields you cannot alter once data is entered like uh, suppose one item is there one ledger is there and that entry is passed to this atom, then you cannot select KG units or these types of fields. So there is a trick also you can use in the tally prime uh, uh, tally folder, just open that XML file 
the XML file, suppose uh, we have in D drive transaction.xml. Okay. Open this file in Notepad. And you can copy paste and find replace anything if you want. So suppose batch wise is previously enabled. Yes, I want to remove all batch wise to no. That is difficult to do directly from tally. Once batch wise is open, you have to remove all batches, remove all transactions, then only you can do it is no. You can select here, complete tag, you can select, go inside, edit, check here, replace, give your required data and replace with what, yes or no. So I can select here, yes, and just replace all. Your XML is ready. So nothing to do here. Just use your logics. You can edit XML also. But with your some experience, take support from tally partners, take data backup, and do all RDs on your database, your demo database. Next one, data splitting. Again, there is a simple tool given by Tally. If you want to split a data. That is very simple actually. Suppose I am selecting here that old company and go inside data tab, split tab. Okay, split tab is always available for admin only. If you don't have any rights as an administrator or you have right of a user, it is not available to split a data or verify data. So First, always verify your data. Select. So Tally is going to verify the data. Is it eligible for exporting, yeah, splitting? See here what happens. Incorrect bank allocations in vouchers, ledgers. In vouchers or ledgers, there are incorrect bank allocations. Now, what is incorrect bank allocation and how many types are there? These types of error. One is linking that you can say linking is not properly done. One is sales register is not enabled as inventory values affected, yes or no. Okay, so please just verify your data and then only split data. Now, just select here three errors. Tell is showing me three errors. Select three transactions are there. Okay, why error is coming actually? I can show that also. In a transaction, if you see here, cash to that party receipt is there. And in allocation here, see. First, the transaction may be selected for a bank, may be selected for a bank, and then it is edited by user as a cash and just press control A. And what happens? Inside the voucher, Tally is asking check number, instrument number, date. These fields are not available now because treasury is selected as cash. So what happens? What to do when exporting data, splitting data? So Tally is telling me, that data have some problems. So nothing to do here. Just select transaction and right side is the option. Correct ledger. See. So cash in hand is here. Maybe, I, ha, yes, that one question again uh, maybe occur there. What happens? Always we are doing cost center applicable, yes or no, yes or no. Always entries is applicable, yes or no. Always users are doing inventory value affected, yes or no. Please don't do these types of mistakes that will be impacting your data. Okay, so this is the most popular query which is occurred when data is going to split. This data is demo data. I am only I am created here some errors so that you can see what happens. 
next one I am showing here, where to see if the data is split and errors are occurred. Again, go inside of tally folder. Okay. And check here tally.spl. SPL is a splitting data. Okay. Here tally.esf, then tally.imp. So there is also option tally.spl. If you are splitting your data, that option will be available. Okay. So because of some time spam, I have to mention some errors and key points only. And that is routine part of now. Just taking some questions out there, I think. Yes, it will be available in your. Yeah, yeah, YouTube channel. Yeah, thank you. Video. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Okay, so anyone is unmuted? You can ask also, no problem. So, tally.spl is the file you can see for splitting errors. So, suppose you want to see directly here. I can select fresh company, data, split, and split data. This is the company I want to split from 1st September. Okay, no problem. Data is split here. That first company will be there and two new companies will be created. See here. Company one, company one with 1st April 22 and with from 1st September 22. Okay. So if errors are there, suppose by any way, maybe possible that errors are there. So you can check in your tally folder. The tally SPL file should be there. If errors are occurred, if error is not there, then file will be not available. Uh, by default, there is a point also to note. Suppose you have 10 errors, tally is not going to show 10 out of 10 errors in the same stroke, same time. Tally will show first error, you have to resolve it. Second error, you have to resolve it. So better way, verify data, correct it, split it. So this done from my side for uh, data splitting and don't do that bank account group is changed then a mistake is done also here alter ledger suppose sales account is there so people are doing here inventory values are affected no see once you have entered any data in Delhi and if you are sitting here no that will 100% coming under data splitting error. Okay, don't do these types of mistakes. Now, uh, any query on splitting and uh, data import export? Okay, no issue. I think something is chatting. Yeah. So XML editing also I am showing here. Better solution to just skip these steps, import, export, splitting, and errors, and just tally closing balance versus opening balance is correct or not. That is a simple way. Don't copy customer's data to your PC. In ethics, we know what we are get trained by ICA, that data should not be copied from client PC to office. Okay, and at least you are copying the data, at least tell to the customer. So at least wait for one or two days, we are giving final data and then only you can pass your next entries, which is quietly impossible actually. So use what to use. You can use AWS, Amazon Web Services. You can use TS Plus like softwares are there. Those are sharing clients machine directly or you can say data tally license with data to directly to CA. Use these types of softwares. Even suppose nothing is there, directly use any desk, whatever the team you are, you can use these types of softwares. And suppose you want to only see data, you don't want to alter, 
create or uh, you don't want to any split data. So simply go on tally reports in browser, TRIV. So that is a very nice solution. Just I have given two or three chartered accountants today morning and they're happy with that. They say, we are not interested to alter data. We want to just watch trial balance, just grouping. So you can download trial balance in Excel. You can download all reports. That is possible from TRIB. These are normally these are available in Tally website. Now, there are third uh, third topic is actually only I have inserted in the the scenario that is some commands are there in tally there are two types of commands in tally to make easiest audit or you can say analytical work one way is to run command from tally calculator panel okay and commands are bifurcated into two types one is nql that is called as natural query language and second is SQL that is called as structured query language. So in QL session is already uh, uh, taken by Sanjay sir in last session. That is very nice and beautiful session. So again, I am not uh, just investing our time on that. So NQL is a natural query language. So suppose just for example, uh, just I'm taking one example, control N. Okay, I want to see in my data, we just I have to open my data where vouchers are there. Yeah. In the control panel, I'm typing here bank receipts. What happens? See in control panel, total bank receipts for that company for the specific period 22 to 6 September 22. That is my current period. So bank receipts are there. You can see multiple commands in notes. I am sharing here one note file. Just a minute. See here. I'm sharing uh, that command page. You can directly use it. So natural query languages are available in tally solution help file. And I'm putting in the chat box. This is for okay, someone asking for can we import data from Mark to Marks of Pro Tally? So I can pick this in uh, just after the uh, session is completed and the FEP session I am taking it. Don't worry. Okay. And next one is this is also about natural query language okay you can use it interested interesting features are there and what is structural query language just i am taking that part because this is already taken by suggest let's do it yeah so it is very interesting suppose i want to see what method of closing stock given to all stock items just two days ago one chatter account they asking for that so nothing to do just select press select commands so yes e l e c t select space dollar name dollar name comma and you can press here star 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 means all Com. Okay. See, structural query language is used as SQL. Every, everybody is know about SQL. There are commands select, alter, and delete. Out of that select, we can run from tally. Select dollar name means I want dollar name means a name of item, comma, star means everything in that master from chahiye, from where stock item is the object i can also do like that select dollar name comma star from ledger okay and just press, press, press enter see the magic of tally so the item name is there then 
everything which is in that database everything see see here. group closing balance opening balance costing method closing stock method unit you can say alternative units if additional units are there see here some are having bags okay everything closing stock batch wise yes or no mrp is available or not see so use these commands so it is also available on my channel also in tally site so that will be helpful for you and again queries i think someone is chatting there just a minute please share sql file not required i can share here command select dollar name comma star from ledger so you can use just ledger or group or stock group or stock item just replace it next i am taking one interesting part for you because today part is actually import export and pain area of a ca or accountant is there what happens suppose take one again scenario this is my profit and loss account okay and what happens now i am putting some entries in data deleting the data and chartered accountant article are already done a job to finish that balance sheet or profit and loss account in their own formats suppose my article or staff is doing one structured balance sheet in their own format like schedule 3 maybe schedule 6 or that new format is also considered by companies act for non commercial companies so what happens my article is going to put all data as per trial balance to that format and what happens suddenly chartered accountancy is getting that one entry i have to update depreciation is wrong uh, database i have to clear and uh, i have to some uh, add some entries in database depreciation or you, you you can say interest to capital now each entry may be impact either profit and loss account balance sheet or trials or wills we know again that your staff has to alter his all schedules notes you can say trial balances everything so better way the solution is power query just i am sharing here so query is uh, how to get detailed trial balance in including yeah yeah sub ledgers see if you select uh, that option directly okay that will automatically come don't worry so if we have time at the end of session i will create one command and also share on the chat box that will give you your uh, desired report directly don't worry so just i am finishing my last topic see what i am going to do i am directly going to connect my tally to the is uh, power query and what is power query you all know so just save a time just a company a file is created okay and i'm closing my data and one data i'm going to open here so that it will be more live how to create power query is very simple there are two videos i will share here yeah select and now just check first result then i am going to tell you how to create okay uh just take one demo item is there demo item and demo item i want to alter okay demo item i want to alter in tally alter stock item demo item so i am putting here demo item uh, updated updated okay and i am pressing here and even i can see here uh, group also see in tally there is no any group for 
demoite cl it is primary okay so i just selecting here mobile control e updated so tally is updated here nothing to do just you have to select here right click and refresh so check within a second tally is updating demo item updated group is mobile now how to create this type of queries okay actually that is uh, a deep session and you can also see uh, i am just uh, telling here excel kida our evangelist mr dhananjay uh, i think gokhale mr dhananjay gokhale is doing on uh, power query power bi sql connections okay excel kida is his website please follow that also just i am taking that topic here little bit i am creating a new file excel file and here demo for demo for power way open yeah that is plain excel sheet now first you have to check excel side that power query option should be there if you don't have this option in your excel please go on microsoft website download power query extension addons and you can add the, that addons in your excel from here options and here addons are there addons so here you have to select your com com addons and then then you can select uh, that just select your uh, power query addons and your button will be available now go inside for from other sources okay this is prerequisite from excel and what is prerequisite from tally okay that is also interesting very simple you have to just enable your odbc port your tally must be run with adbc server or both okay and you can select that uh, that settings here right side client public server with odbc what is odbc open database connectivity and what is port 9001 on 9001 whatever company is there with the name connected with excel that will be updated automatically tally to excel that's very really simple so just i am selecting in excel from other source go inside for odbc list is there select your tally odbc 64 bit underscore 9000 where is my port and just select okay hardly 2 minutes required only 2 minutes to connect your excel to tally and that is live see tally showing my database name double click on it Tally showing my username A because my company have username A, and Tally showing all database of Tally, all database. So now, if you want ledgers, let's select ledger. So here is the ledger. A ledger having group, opening balance, closing balance, transactions created by, altered by, everything is there. Select ledger, and you can directly load you can directly load or you can directly press here edit if you load it what happens tally will take all columns which is not necessary for you so you can select here choose columns choose columns and as you are asking that sql query also i can do it from power query also okay here select first unselect all and one by one you can select a name i want to select the name of ledger click also i want to select parent of ledger that is 
group then i want opening balance then closing balance c okay and press okay so by this way you can select and load so now for a time being to show all columns i have not implemented my imported file just i am implementing what columns are coming in excel see and you can take one example also see just one example we can take here okay even enterprises so just check even enterprises any balances or see 30 days credit is there and it is now connected with your tally directly see there are all columns i am taking here okay but it is difficult if you are taking all columns are and then sorting data better way you can choose as per your requirement okay and it is connected with tally always tally syncing so as per time schedule i have to take slightly fast uh, but these topics i am going to share again in videos uh, especially video for power query okay like someone is share, uh, sharing on chat box that some videos are available on youtube my youtube channel yes then uh, this is okay can you please try increasing your computer mobile audio? sir i think there is a question by rajul shah how to get detailed try balance including sub ledger yeah yeah you okay yes thank you so madam we can uh, just open up the session for uh, queries because that is mostly important for all yes sir so for the audience if you want to ask your questions directly you can raise your hands i will unmute you and the q and a sir i think we have answered both the questions right uh, can we import yes ha huh. can we import mark data to tally that is the question uh, see i am telling here to all participants please understand software is a thing that you can do anything but it should be on a proper matter it should be in proper format there is no question about marg or bg or any sql data or any local software or excel to tally there is no uh, any issue about data importing main part is if data is in tally format okay marg have that facility that their control panel that have facility to import masters and transactions to tally directly just contact that partner and you can directly import data in tally no required any customization for tally that is ready made by that software company there are many software companies always given data interaction concept systems for tally because they know chartered accountants always preferring tally for statutory compliances and counter may be having some another softwares customers counter so please directly you can uh, ask that software company yeah, that i want tool for data import export first second suppose you have mark data directly in excel then you can also take developments from tally tally shop or also from our uh, partners in market and ask them to import excel to tally okay but again keep these two points first master should be created perfectly okay and just just uh, that question is related with the topic so i am just sharing here one trick suppose a data having 4000 5000 masters but problem is that nowadays these masters are not useful assume retail shop he cannot sustain a customer that customer is walk through customers so they are not permanent customers so why should the data is carry forward with 4000 5000 masters so how to identify and delete that masters 
So I'm sharing here one trick also. Go inside of chart of accounts, ledger. So there are ledgers. Just keep it ledger view, F5. And also for, uh, uh, if you are on inventory, so this is a simple uh, records listed by tally. And here in the right side, you can see change, sorry, uh, basis on value. Okay. And just a minute, not altered, unused. There is an option which is called as unused masters. Okay. And you can directly delete. See here. Right side button is there. Exceptional report. Select show unused. It means these, these masters are not having opening balance, no debits, no credits. So obviously no credit, no closing balance. Select all control shift space, alter D. Completely data will be erased. Related with that irrelevant masters. Uh, Rajinder, sir, somebody yeah. is saying to increase the screen size. Mm. I think uh, the size is actually max. Zoom one. Achha, it's tally. Okay. Yeah, it is tally screen, so we cannot directly zoom. Uh, but don't worry. Uh, anyone having these types of issue, maybe some are joining by some uh, delay anyway. So don't worry. Recording will be available. Also, uh, some topics were covered in uh, last sessions, and this is consolidated for all in one topic for import export data because now the time is to face audit and these problems are every year required to share knowledge among CAs or CA staffs. So we are always there. Tally is always there. Okay, so uh, anyone uh, you can ask your queries. So there are a few in the chat box. Yeah. How to add a power query? Explain once again. Uh, instead of uh, explaining, if you uh, chat uh, me directly, uh, better way I can select uh, share you directly that video. Don't worry, because uh, if I'm opening here WhatsApp, then it will take I think two minutes. So another query is available. Then you can take it until the time WhatsApp will be open, and I can share directly in your chat box. Don't worry. So uh, all these R&Ds we have done many times. So don't worry. Yes, yes. So it is possible to share. Yes. Yeah. That video is shared. Okay. And for a time being, for answering your question directly from my side, it is not very much difficult. Go in Microsoft website. In the website, you can select uh, just select your Microsoft Office any version, and you can just put here downloads and Power Query. Even you can directly type in Google. So Power Query option is not available in Excel. So Tally will directly move your cursor. See. So anything, maybe your uh, power query or maybe your power bi so you can write this here the whole procedure is given so i can share this link also don't worry so that link is also given okay anyone else i think chat box is cleared now uh, yeah uh, the audience if you have any direct questions you can raise your hand here. Get detailed trial balance. Hmm. Yeah, so I can share here report that report also. Detailed trial balance that is very simple. Jata koi or other question push it up to my Dikha Jata Yape dollar name, comma, dollar and in comma, dollar opening. Balance comma dollar. Balance from a simple trial balance. 
actually uh, if you learn or some make some identities on there so you can sort by group also then there are many commands that query may be of two or three lines also i just export this i am taking export that current report configuration with excel file and selecting my location as d drive and today's date okay then about no problem about xls and save and see what happens that is finished not take this is your trial balance but please understand difference between power query and excel export power query is always updated with tally data live okay and excel you have to again export suppose there are uh, 2000 entries in database and now 2050 entries are there 50 entries are added so you have to again export it to excel again you have to make formulations and these types of sorting filtering okay but in power query it is not required you have to just press here right click and refresh yes so it is refreshed so make connection your excel with tally that is the biggest Uh, success for you in July. Uh, how to input data of other software or app into Tally Prime? Okay. Uh, see other softwares data again. I am answering here. Again, it is required to take in a special format, specified format. In short, you know what is required for a voucher to save in Tally. Debit and credit should be tallied. Voucher number should be there. Voucher. Type should be there. Narration should be there. Debit ledger, credit ledger should be there. Finish. So simple data structure. If you have an Excel, XML, any kind, JSON, PDF, Word, CSV, all kind of kind of data we can import in Tally. You have to take just help for your partner, or you can directly chat with us. No problem. Ah, uh -huh. but uh, I think uh, I heard about that Tally is going to also give some. Uh, solutions to excel excel data to tally directly tally is going to share uh, directly from tally software so maybe in coming uh, releases tally will uh, give here one option import excel to tally and template will be created and that data you have to just paste in your template and import in tally okay don't worry about that facility is also i think it is in line Anyone next? See, one person has raised his hand. Mark. Yeah, please unmute. Mark, you can ask your question. Uh, yeah, I have one uh, query where uh, one of our clients, uh, you know, has changed his entire chart of accounts. Now we have revised that chart of accounts. Unfortunately, now he has entered uh, the data from April twenty two to July twenty two. <laughs> so what we are now confused is whether they have to re enter the data or is there any way out you know to replace the existing chart of account with a new chart of accounts okay so that was a mistake what i am saying hmm. correct so that mistake jo bhi bol raha tha wahi mistake shayad usne kiya rahega yeah so bahut ye bahut jagah pe issue hai people are not creating uh, users and passwords and directly your data is in hands of that user that is not having any special knowledge of data so that is the problem so, so how do we how do we yeah, do so this? first thing just tell me in, uh, in short uh, your data is having uh, some ledgers and masters chart of accounts so data okay. what they entered is the old now we have uh, we have been asked to reorganize their uh, you know chart of accounts no chart of accounts means you want to change the grouping system only Uh, or entire yeah, many many things are changed you know some prefix suffix all that we have removed it oh okay so there is a, you know of course some of the nominal accounts remain same but the groupings and all those things are changed yeah, yeah. so there is a actually option in tally to correct these types of errors see mm -hmm. uh, suppose you want you have uh, some doubt that uh, group for uh, just take a example uh, 50 ledgers are under group uh, sundry letters and you want to change as sundry creators okay so you can directly alter from multi alters a whole group you can alter not required to one by one see chart of account ledger 
and right side select multi master multi alter and here select your daters for example this is my daters amc daters okay so i am selecting the amc daters okay and just here change group you can see here i am taking some another group where masters are there sundry daters okay and i want to change all sundry daters to sundry daters so what to do just click here and here select sundry daters finish and control a your whole ledgers may be 5000 10000 50000 ledgers within a click they can directly move to a group that is the uh, simple solution uh, but it is only for changing groups stock groups ledger groups but not for you are saying that prefix and suffix are removed and these types of uh, part but if you have only chart of account related issue you can do these types of task okay fine fine okay and another solution is there you can directly uh, you can directly change uh the data export to excel and tell that particular uh, software developer or partner to get it back with after correction again in tally and when you are importing data in tally select uh, modify with new data so that is better solution it will be directly modify all masters excel to tally Uh, this will be better, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that is uh, always better because uh, uh, no only group issue is not there. May be possible that opening balances are changed, address, GST number is changed. So better uh, modify that all details in Excel and again create an XML file and take it in Tally. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Nice question, but. so uh, thanks a lot sir that was a very simply and i think you explained in a very simplistic way that everyone understood and had the right set of questions so thank you so much always a pleasure to host you at rdc connect looking yeah. forward to many more sessions from you and to our audience uh, i think uh, somebody even mentioned that they want to look for sessions in gst and taxation please do yeah. put in your topic and suggestions so that we can arrange for you uh, to what you can benefit the most thank you so much signing yeah. up signing out today thank you thank you thank you madam